Hey, this is Bakari Shivanu with, with Mac Automation Tips. I'm back with another video. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about better touch tool finger gestures and how I use them in my favorite web browser, Arc. In this, so what basically what I'm talking about, if you are a better touch tool user, right, uh, you definitely should be using your finger gestures to navigate your favorite web browser. So I'm going to show you how I do it in Arc. And I really, am, I am a big fan of Arc. I've been using it for like uh, almost a year now, I guess. And I could not get much of my work done without using Arc. I mean, my productivity would slow down a lot if I was not using, using um you know, um, ARC. So anyway, I'm not going to get too much into, you know, I have another video about ARC. You can check that out if you want. And uh, but here I'm just going to talk about how I use finger gestures to navigate ARC. And so basically um, in ARC, they do have some uh, embedded kind of finger gestures, right? So if I wanted to, you know, switch between spaces in ARC, you can do a kind of a finger, uh, two finger swipe left and right to kind of go between spaces here. So, you know, you can do that and go. So that's embedded. I think that's, I think that's embedded inside of Arc. But I have a whole bunch of other, you know, uh, finger gestures here in my Better Touch tool. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ones. I have quite a few. I don't use all of these, but I do have some favorites. And every once in a while, I will learn a new one when I, you know, I kind of set it up but I really haven't committed it to memory. So, but once I do that, then I start using it. But anyway, I have a lot of them set up here and I'm not going to go into detail about, you know, how I set these up. This is for people who already know something about using better touch tool. I'm just trying to show you what is possible in terms of, you know, kind of mapping these finger gestures to the arc application or any other web browser. So it doesn't have to be just arc. So let's switch back to Arc here. And let's go, let me try to go over some of the finger gestures I use. First off, I use a three finger click right here to pull up the uh, search bar or to enter a URL. So you can do that with the command, um, I think command T, you can do that as well. So that finger gesture is triggering the shortcut command T. So I just use, if my, if my hand is already on the trackpad, which is, Usually it's where it's at when I'm in the browser anyway. Um, I just kind of do that a uh, finger click there. Another thing that I do is I do a three finger force click and that right there will toggle the, uh, yeah, it should toggle the, let me see, it should toggle this sidebar here. And for some reason, maybe, oh, maybe I need to be in a application. I mean, in a tab, in a tab. So there you go. So when I'm in a tab, it will toggle the sidebar back and forth there. And so that's really convenient too when I need to have that that sidebar out of the way. Another thing that I do is um, if I, so if let's, let's go to a page in here uh, in Mac Automation Tips here. Let's open this one up. I just wanna show you something here. So I'm in one tab here. Now, typically I have a lot of tabs op open here and I also have a lot of pin tabs open up in here. I'm not, I'm not showing those right now, but I have a lot of those there. So, but if I want to switch back between tabs, um, all, I, all I have to do is a three finger tap and you see how I switch back and forth. And I do that a lot when I'm working. So I'm working between tabs, even though sometimes you can open two tabs side by side, sometimes it's better for me just to switch back and forth. And I use a three finger tap and that's triggering another uh, shortcut. So what you want to do inside of your web browser or inside of Arc, you want to go in and you want to open up, you know, your, your settings, right? And you want to find out all about the shortcuts in there. And then you want to figure out which ones, which shortcuts you want to trigger using better touch tools. So that's how you do that. Um, another one that I do is, uh, I do a, a corner click button. And basically the corner click button, I, I click that, and that right there will that right there will pin the uh the tab in you know it will pin the tab. And so you you know if you are you if you are an arc user, pin tabs and unpin tabs are two different things. In so I can also click that corner again and put it unpin it. So in the and so then the um in the in the 
unpin tabs, they get closed. Like I have mine set for like, I think they get closed out like a 12, up to 12 hours. So when I come in the morning, all my pin tabs, are, all my unpin tabs are closed, but I have all my pin tabs, you know, under here, I just kind of close them out. So I use a corner click uh, bottom left to do that. Another one that I do is to, I do a, uh, a, a tap swipe left finger, right? And that right there is to close a, uh, to, to close a tab. So that's a, 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 a you know, a tip tap, uh, I'm sorry, tip swipe left finger, two fingers right there. And you can, again, you can assign any kind of finger gesture that you want. Those are just the ones I, I do. So you go in and figure out which ones you're most uh, comfortable with. Another one is I do a tip tap left finger. Those are a little more complicated there. And what I do with those is I, I go, if I want to copy quickly the, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, URL in a tab, right? So I just do that tip tap left. And what that'll do is you'll see that it copied the current URL. So I don't have to go up and, you know, physically drag I and mean, physically tap on the button here. I can do that, but if my fingers are in a trackpad, I could just do that tip tap, tip tap left. And again, you can sign whichever, uh, you know, uh, finger gestures you want. And then the last one that I can, I, I one of my really favorite ones is I do a, a four finger click here. And that, what they'll do is they will take the, the URL that I that's copied on the clipboard and it will open it into a private uh you know window and that's really great because it's really fast and so all I got to do is just copy the URL say that I've opened up and then I just have it open up in this private window so that's how I do a, a lot of the you know finger gestures and and uh in in you know, with using art. And again, you can use this with any web browser. All you have to do is just assign your your better, uh, you know, better touch tool finger gestures to a particular shortcut. And then just figure out which ones work best for you and then just practice it. That's how I do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me some feedback. Give me a thumbs up. Follow me if you're not, if you're new to my channel. And uh, I really look forward to hearing from you and give me some feedback on this because I want to keep producing videos from week to week. Thanks a lot for checking it out. Take care.